Anyone who has completed high school or college knows that group projects are the worst. It always appears that no one is doing their part and someone must stand up and take on the majority of the responsibility. Why does this happen though? Psychologists may attribute it to the bystander effect, although this phenomenon is not limited to the college classroom. It occurs in cities, crowds, and even murder scenes. Hey everyone, it's Noel, your gateway to understanding human behavior and emotions. Join us for fascinating insights. Hit subscribe for a part of our journey through the exciting field of psychology. First, what is the bystander effect? The bystander effect states that if you are surrounded by others, you are less inclined to intervene or take action. People are simply less likely to aid another person if they believe they are in the presence of a throng. So since the 1960s, researchers have been studying the bystander effect. Many psychologists believe that research into the bystander effect began with the murder of Kitty Genovese. If you don't already know or haven't watched my film, Genovese was murdered outside her apartment at 3 a.m. in 1964. Two weeks later, the New York Times ran an item called 37 who saw murder didn't call the police. This headline shook the globe because how could 37 people fail to respond when something so awful occurred? Does this imply that cities such as New York were particularly dangerous? Do people not feel compassion? These are some of the questions that psychologists have sought to solve since the 1960s. So, how can individuals explain their inaction in the instance of Kitty Genovese? According to media reports, spectators just did not want to get involved. However, social psychologists have a more scientific explanation for why the bystander effect exists. Attribution is the study of how humans explain causes and consequences. Bystander apathy is frequently explained using a type of attribution known as the diffusion of culpability. When we're in a large group, the responsibility for taking action is distributed throughout the entire group. This lessens each individual's duty and motivation to help. For example, if you are the lone witness to a robbery, you are responsible for stopping the act or reporting it to the authorities. However, if you are in a crowd and witness a robbery, you are one of several people who can potentially intervene and report the crime to the authorities. When the same responsibility is distributed to a bigger group of people, everyone is more likely to say, someone else will do it. See, we believe that each person may psychologically allocate responsibility to someone in the crowd who appears more capable or that they should take action. Four years after Kitty Genovese's murder, two social psychologists conducted several studies on the bystander effect. John M. Darley and Bib Latane created various scenarios in which people would see or hear a potential disaster. Subjects could be alone, in a small group, or in a big group. The researchers would next note whether or not the participant had reported the occurrence. So consider their first experiment. The researchers gave the respondents a questionnaire to complete in a room. They then left the room and began filling it with smoke. In one room, the patient was completely alone. Three persons sat in another room, and three more sat in the last room, with two of them noticing the smoke but ignoring it. So here are the results. 75% of the individuals who sat alone in the room stood up and reported the incident to someone in the building. Only 38% of participants who sat in the room with three other people reported it. And even more shockingly, 10% of those who were in the room with persons who acknowledged the smoke eventually reported. So the issue here is that as more people enter the room, the likelihood of someone reporting the smoke, which is a problem, decreases. It has been more than 50 years since Kitty Genovese's murder, and you should be aware that the New York Times headline that startled the world has subsequently been exposed as a hoax. Because while 38 people told the police they heard something, there were not 37 eyewitnesses to her murder, and the police received more than one report concerning the screaming. However, its research on the bystander effect remains an unsettling look at how we spread culpability and justify our inaction. Cases of the bystander effect continue to dominate headlines throughout the world. For example, in September 2019, Cassie Morris, a 16-year-old, was stabbed to death while fighting outside a strip mall. 
Dozens of people watched the teen's death, with several filming the brawl and broadcasting it on Snapchat, but no one intervened. In reality, eight people are currently in jail. People's failure to intervene during an emergency may be attributed to brain development, societal standards, and other reasons. There is still a lot of research to be done on the bystander effect, and attribution might vary from instance to case. But we do know that stories like Kitty Genovese and Cassie Morris shock and frequently discuss the world. Failure to act portrays a picture of a world in which people are innately cruel and endure misery. And most people don't want to live in such world. So what can you do? Well, understanding the diffusion of responsibility or the bystander effect may help you make better decisions when you observe an incident or, more simply, when working on a cooperative project. If you find yourself claiming you don't want to get involved or standing about waiting for someone else to take action, remember you are a bystander. You should take action if you witness wrongdoing. You should report items before waiting for someone else to do so. You may be able to rescue someone's college grade or life. As we conclude, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you found value in this video and learned something new, and I look forward to seeing you in our future videos. I would deeply value it if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support will help us to create more valuable content. What are the key takeaways from this video that you can share in the comment section?